Hello Aquarius, how are you? Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. This is a general reading for your Aquarius placements for the last part of January. Hold on. I think I have fixed my sound issues. We will find out soon enough. All right. Aquarius. Oh, Aquarius, I do. Oh my God, I have so many messages for you. Okay, let me look. Um, you need to know. You need to know. Bring some. Okay, I have no idea what the you need to know is. There's, um, you need to know. Oh, that's right. You need to know more. You need to know more before making a decision on something. Don't make a decision before you have all the information. Also, being strong for others, watching disaster. Okay. Um, so there's going to be people going through a lot of hard things for the rest of the month. And they're going to kind of gravitate towards you with this. And I feel your heart swell. But you also understand that there's really nothing you can do. It's almost as if your hands are tied with something. Yeah, high priest and angels. Yeah, look at that. Um, you're going to be a confidant during this time. You, I know, you're like, well, this is normal for Aquarius anyway. And this is not normal for Aquarius, okay? This is above and beyond. You're going to have to tell someone something you don't really want to tell them. You are going to be asked to, I don't know where this is coming from. You're going to be asked to oversee a transition. Huh. Okay. There's some kind of a transition you're going to be asked to oversee. Okay. Oh, uh, what else? Oh, and I got the song Emmett Fenn Painting Grays. So you might want to check that out. Overall, I feel a very steady, a very slow, a very conscious energy, um, keeping yourself in a good space, a good head space, because you're just, got, you're going to be seeing a lot of stuff, and you're going to be a rock. Okay. All right. So. What do we have for Aquarius as the potential blockage for this time, please? There it is. Forgiveness and fear. All right. How, why would that be a potential blockage? Both of them in the upright. Not forgiving others for over... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so Aquarius, we, we all know that you are the ones that believe, let everyone do their thing, okay? Um, but there is someone in specific where fear is holding them back or where this has held you back from moving forward in something. So the potential blockage is not forgiving that person, that situation, Someone is not moving fast enough for you because they are working through fear, possibly. Mm-hmm, yeah, okay. So, understanding forgiveness for yourself. If you're waiting for someone else to move forward and fear is holding them back, asking for forgiveness, it looks as though, it's funny, this is phobias, but it looks as though she's asking for forgiveness, doesn't it? And here's forgiveness over here. Is this you not being able to ask someone to forgive you for something? Aquarius? It could be. I think this might be twofold for a lot of you. I think that you are afraid that it will make you look weak. It will put you in a position that um, is not favorable to you for whatever reason to ask for forgiveness. I am not getting that it will be. I am not. 
I think for the majority of you, it is actually going to just set you free. Okay? Um, for others, someone is holding back on something and they are not wanting to move forward as quickly or forward, period. And it's because of their fear. But if you get down to what that fear is, you'll be able to help them to move forward. All right. Now your blessings for the week. Hope. Love that. And Temple of the Sun. Oh, my God. So everything is going to be awesome. Have hope. Have faith. You have done a wonderful, amazing job, Aquarius. Whatever you might be fearing, um, it's going to be friggin' amazing. Okay? Temple of the Sun is like the sun card in the tarot. So it negates any negative aspects. And during my shuffling for you, I kept getting six of Michael. Light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief. Uh, make new plans. Relocation or travel is possible. Okay. So what is the biggest factor for the week for Aquarius? Oh, Aquarius, I also got that you should uh, watch your other placements, especially if this is your sun sign. Ten of Ariel, love and blessings, harmonious relationships. That's awesome. Five of Raphael, everything happens for a reason. Release regret and em embrace opportunities for happiness. This is definitely going back to where you are afraid to ask someone for forgiveness for something. I'm telling you, Aqua, it's going to be freeing if you do. Okay. King of Michael, there you are. Wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity. A situation that calls for honest and open communication. Okay. Well, in your power. You are in your power this week. And you definitely, wisdom and objectivity are important this week. We already know that. Anywhere where there is regrets, let that go, love. Okay? Because it's not worth it. It's not worth it. No regrets. If you learn something from the situation, then it was worth the situation. Okay? All right. Now, what do you already know that can help you? Let's find out. What does Aquarius already know that can help them? This is... There's a lot more that wants to come out of that King of Michael. It looks as though someone or a situation is going to be removed soon. And there's nothing you can do about it. It's their own actions that sink them. Some of you have been waiting for this. Interesting. Don't feel bad about it. All right. Hmm. If there's something you need out of someone, tell them. Oath and conclusion. Something's coming to an end. There's, there's, I'm getting a relationship. There is a relationship that you have. That re relationship covers every single person that you know, okay? So don't freak out on me. Um, there is a relationship in your life, Aquarius, that is coming to an end. Trapped in high priestess of earth. Could be an earth sign, but you know that staying trapped in a situation is not going to produce anything new. All right? Like if this is a friendship, um, it's they're not changing. They are not changing. Whoever this is, is not changing changing okay and it's just the way that it is all right the warrior what you already know Aquarius is that you are the warrior you have been blessed and I'm t being told to pull one more hope oh my god you got hope twice you got hope twice no wonder I was supposed to 
pull one more. You got two cards here that say hope. Look at this. Keep fighting for what you want, love. What you already know that can be beneficial to you is for you to just keep fighting for what you want. Keep doing the thing. And don't touch the things that you shouldn't touch. All right. We jump from 2 to 27. Interesting. So 2, 27, and 25, or 7, might be very specific meaning for you. Ooh, there's a 5 there, too, in there. You got, yeah, okay. So you're going to see synchronicities this week. Um, also, check, double check your math, double check other people's math, double check your accounts, things like that, all right? Okay, how is the environment showing up for Aquarius? How is the environment presenting itself and affecting Aquarius? There we go. Arga Agathons, manifesting multidimensional perception and attunement. Ooh, things are starting to fall into alignment, Aquarius. Mm -mm -mm. Fruits of your labor are coming in to bear, to be picked. Someone's going to be bringing you a gift. Seeds that you have planted in the past are actually going to start to bear fruit now. Love that. This is if you have investments, this is this is beautiful energy for that. Okay, do not forget Aquarius that you are the alien, right? And of the zodiac, you are not from here. That's why you never feel as though you fit in, you belong. Because you're not from this world, love. And you being special is part of your superpower. You are able to see through time and space. And what I mean by that is that you, you have the ability to look at all of the facts and extrapolate the future. If you are trading or anything like that with the market this looks good um i don't suggest that i don't suggest anything i'm just saying you're able to extrapolate through the facts that you are given that you have through the knowledge that you have acquired as to what's going to happen in the future and because of that you're able to build and plant with hope Standing up for what it is that you believe in because you know that you're right. Oh, so the, the, the environment is very supportive for you right now. All right. Um, this is the abundant energy from the universe. Ooh, these are my colors right now. Um, these, this is the abundant energy from the universe that is so easily and readily available for you to tap into right now because there is such an abundance for you. It is crystal yellow dragon opens you to higher learning and wisdom. Expand your crown chakra for illumination. Walk the higher spiritually spiritual path. Now, you are going to be getting some alone time this week. You're going to you're going to need it to keep your batteries charged up, okay? While you're doing that, I you know what? I keep getting reflection. You're reflecting on something. And that is going to allow you to understand what to do. Destiny and union. Okay. So you know what is meant for you during this time. And you are you are not afraid of it. Oh, that's awesome. Cool beings. If there's any information you want right now, Aquarius, this is the time to go get it. Ooh, king of fire. Go get it. Go get it. Whatever you want right now, it is time for you to go get it. All right, this is your advice from Spirit, King of Fire, Fire, okay, 12, Queen, King, King of Fire, proactive, dauntless, inspirational, vital, powerful, passionate, charismatic, involved. Ground your focus, gra sorry, 
ground and focus your passion. Be more than an ideas person. Remain involved from start to finish. Every leader is part of a team. Delegate. Be dauntless. Respect your position by respecting others. Show your appreciation and keep your temper in check. Okay, Aquarius, join us for a live. We go live twice a week, uh, Saturday and Sundays, 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Sa Saturdays I am, are the I Am Here Club. And Sundays we do all 12 signs and free personal reads after. All right, you guys have a great day. You know I love you. See you soon. Peace to you. Ciao.